The search and rescue team has two little L per ELT directional finders for finding down aircraft. This particular one is made in Santa Barbara by Eltronics. It is a digital version and it's relatively easy and straightforward to use. We need to identify two important buttons, the on-off button and the calibration button. So I'm going to turn it on, pick it up, I'm going to put it into calibration and then it should be able to find it. This is something we want to use away from the vehicles, away from metal, and we want to hold the unit high and away from our body. So let's turn it on. And then normally I would hit the calibration in the air, but let's hit the calibration button. You can see where it says hold there. And eventually it'll say good. And so it's well calibrated now. So we're going to look at the screen and we can see that it's telling us we need to turn to the left. So if we turn more to the right, we're going to get confused. See, it's going to be really wanting us to go to the left. So let's work our way left. Now it's kind of straight on. And if we peek ahead, there's our transmitter that we're headed for. And if we go a little bit this way, it's going to start wanting us to go the other way. Now it's kind of hard to see in this screen, but that big 507 is our signal strength. So if we started to pull back away from the unit, we should start to see those numbers move. 508, 503, 500. As I get further away, the signal gets weaker. So let's walk towards the source, the downed aircraft, and you can see the signal is getting stronger. So 506 again. And as we get closer and closer to it, the numbers are increasing. Okay, there's the unit, and there's that.